Hi Virgo. <laughs> Alright, welcome to this place if you're new here. And welcome back if you're returning. So Virgo. Uh, I hope you had a good birthday. Um, I'm recording this in October time, so... Anyway, uh, happy equinox too, right? So, I feel like there's something about your the your father's side of the family. Your father's side. Uh, there's some strength there. There's some magic there. There's something of importance in this place. Um, the raven's also doing its little song. I like that sound that it does. Okay, so we're trying some new cards out. It's really exciting. I was totally inspired by one of my good friends and um, fellow artist, fellow creative magic person. Uh, it's always a pleasure. So <clears throat> it's nice to be inspired by other people, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so let's see what the situation is. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, so this section we have the aspirant. We have the aspirant, which represents diligence and ambition. Uh, let's see the card that's with that. Okay, three of wands. So, the aspirant sits in the court. Uh, this is, you think about this like as a bullseye, um, <clears throat> the actual bullseye within the target this this circle if you will is something that cannot it it's something where there has been achievement um and uh success and in that <clears throat> it's come to a stage of something that's like actually really strong now the aspirin also talks a little bit about setbacks meaning with this, I'm feeling it more like a patience because it's coming out with the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a card of patience and it needs to because... So the situation right now is wanting you to realize that you've made it to this stage, right? You've made it to this stage. And um, through your ambition, through your diligence, through your uh, efforts, most certainly. And... I am seeing this word as inspiring also. Hi, Chippy. Hi, sweetheart. Can you come here? Cute. It's becoming more comfortable because um, I've been in this place. So it's really nice to be trusted, you know. So I feel like the situation is, is it, the ambition's still there. <clears throat> The diligence is still there, so there's something that um, continues without actually much effort at all, honestly. So I wouldn't say, or how do I explain this? That which you cannot do right now, I wouldn't sweat it, okay? Like, because part of this is, I guess, I'm seeing like this level of patience. Can't, my hair is like being fussy. Um, Oh, I heard that song. Where is my motivation? Can't find my motivation. If that's the case, if if you're like, say it's like, I'm almost seeing like writer's block or something. If it's something like this, where you're like, wait, I had all this energy and I don't have the energy to get it. It's like, that's where you're supposed to stand back. It's like, now I'm seeing this different example where someone's looking at a painting. But it's a painting they've been working on for a really, really long time. So... And they've been like constantly like a part of it, a part of it, and really, really close to it. It's so all in it. It was like their main focus of this thing for so long. It's like now it's like step back, step back from it. It's not going to disappear. You don't have to worry about losing anything. This is not complete disengagement, though. We're not talking about that. It's stepping back and it's again, it's still there. It's still there. You, I see again, you don't have to worry about losing anything at this time. Okay. Um, that I heard that would be more of something that's in your mind. This could also be where you put some creative energy into other things. You know, maybe there's something else that needs your attention. Maybe some of you want to do something. 
you feel like doing something, but but you have to perhaps do something else. And Queen of Swords, yeah, maybe that's the case. That's okay. If you can't... All right, we talked about this a long time ago. Let's leave that like that. Let's see what your opportunity is, Virgo. What's your opportunity right now? Oh, the alchemist. Looky there, the alchemist. The alchemist represents balance and invention. Maybe this is the whole point is some of you are meant to step back, not completely disengage from something again, but to see what you can do with it. You know what I mean? Like, say you're, okay, let's keep going with this example. Say a person's a painter. They're always making paintings, always making paintings. They're painting, painting, painting all the time. This is, again, their main focus. It's just like, okay, well, maybe it's like, I'm going to take all these paintings, take photographs of them, and create a coffee table book. Or I'm going to figure out what it costs to make prints of these and actually have a show with them. And see, like, how these can be, how, what, whatever you're creating could be shared with others in a different way. Do you know what I mean? Because you can't push creativity. But I feel like you've already created so much. And if you are stuck on something, you know what I mean, where, again, you're like, and now I'm going back into that writer's block. So you get stuck on something. You're like, oh, I can't write. It's just like, don't, don't try to push that because that's not the point. You want to, again, step back and let something stew. I heard figure out what else you can do. Okay? Shifting of focus here. I heard again, do not be afraid that anything will be taken away from you. Okay? Let's see in relation to this alchemist what the cards are in relation to your opportunity. Oh, well, well then, the High Priestess, very positive, and the Queen of Cups. So both of these are very, very feminine energy. Both super happy. Super happy energy. This is trusting how a person feels. Oh, okay, I see. Because you are Virgo, you're watching this, that means Pisces is also extremely strong, and you, it is you. It is you. It's wood sorrel. Um, so actually, some of you need a little bit of a balance in ways of um, work and home. Could, could use a little bit of balance there. Uh, if, if this, once you find this balance, because again, this is the opportunity, balance. <laughs> this is also, uh, part of the opportunity is also trust. It's trust. Um, so I don't want you to have a bunch of worry around how you're feeling about what is possible. Okay. Uh, just a minute. Starting the sun's starting to get warm, and my hair is messing with me. I always pull my hair up for you whenever we get a little bit ready to go. Then we prepare, right? So, the opportunity is to actually to trust your intuition. Um, this your opportunity also has to do with Cancer and Pisces. Um, now, I suppose a combo of that, we're going to take the moon and Pisces. Sometimes this says anything's possible. Anything, all things are possible. That in and of itself is a bit destructive. You have to fine tune a little bit more than that. Okay? Because what, because you're you, because you're Virgo energy naturally, what you could see that is possible is sometimes you go to the negative because it doesn't happen the way that you want exactly how and when you want it. 
So it may be one of those things where you're meant to chip away at something. Because what the opportunity is actually comfort as well. And I would say that there are definitely other people in your life that are very intuitive. They have done what you've already done. Um, some of you, the opportunity could actually be enhanced by maybe having someone get, maybe some of you could get a reading, could be helpful. Um, maybe it may be in ways of timing, you know, or something like that. I would also say there's an extremely intuitive woman around you or a part of your life that is like really, 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 um, I'm seeing Pisces, Cancer, Libra here are all part of your opportunity. So what is that? That's believing and feeling clearly. Clearly. Whatever your beliefs are about the situation, being clear about them. The way that you feel about those, being clear about those. It's also balancing emotion and logic, which is actually very suiting for Pisces Virgo. Um, somebody has some really good ideas here. This is a part of the opportunity. Maybe some of you find a feather too. I also heard what element are you in Chinese astrology? You know how they have like the animals like, oh, you're, you're a rooster, like you're a metal rooster or like you're a wood rabbit or whatever. It's, it's the element, something about the element that's important. Here you have a lot of water, particularly. So the opportunity is also to feel. Um, and I heard, please do not feel like, if you ever get into a space where like your feelings start to become destructive, which really is your mind being unclear about something, then I want you to really go into your body and be like, you know, maybe some of you, this is like a survival thing. And it's kind of, cause I see so much support here. There's so much support. There's somebody in your life that's so helping you to balance. And who is that? Who helps you to, to like, who's your other half? Because that's what I saw in the beginning with that. That was a part of that before I figured out the father side of something. Because there is something about your father and the father side. I don't know if it's like what they've done or like who they are or what they've created or whatever. But there's, there's something here that um, was talking about the other side of you. Like your other half. And so to me, this is showing like support. And I, again, I see you are so loved and supported and somebody totally knows like who you are. Like a person knows who another person is and like they know when they're off balance. They know when they're like in a zone and like what their brain, like kind of like what their brain's doing. And they know like what their, what their downfalls are, if you will, like not focusing on the negative, but, but it's like that, that part of it, you know, where it's kind of like interesting. Anyway, so much support. Let's see what you don't see coming. You love that. <clears throat> okay. We have the merchant, which is about here. We have more Libra scales. Very interesting. What's the card with that? Oh my God, Ten of Pentacles. Holy smokes, you better get ready. Okay, H however you do your business, <clears throat> whatever you're involved with, with business, I actually see somebody, I want you to feel so good about what you do. Say, let's talk about particularly in your career. I want you to feel good about that. I want you to, Pisces, if you need any help with confidence, with, with awareness of like what's happening, because... Because right now in the sky, what's happening, particularly between Virgo and Pisces energy for the collective, but this is going to affect you strongly because you're here and that Virgo is obviously important to you. <clears throat> you realize that this is an important part of you. It's like we're meant to go, <clears throat> we're meant to be more in this heart space, meaning like that a person is, um, feels confident and um, blessed 
for their skill set, for their opportunity, right? Look at this. Look, this Ten of Pentacles is like, <clears throat> is this painting? I don't know if this guy's a painter or like this beautiful piece of art on the wall. Like, there's there's something. <clears throat> what is this saying? Oh, were we talking about that? The painter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so look. How do you create paint? With earth and with water. With earth and with water is how you create a painting. Okay, we're back. Sorry, Virgo. Um, my battery, uh, or actually my storage, was full. And so I had to wait and move some things around and make some space. Um, and now here we are again. So let's try to back, jump back into it. What you don't see coming is, again, the Merchant and the Ten of Pentacles. For, so f for some of you, this is a really big business deal. Like, it, it, this is a huge deal. Like, huge, 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 and I see in the most positive way. This could some kind of, I heard it's some kind of, like, big yes. And this actually has so much to do with the effort that you have already put in. Um, again, your ambition, that, that diligence we were talking about, your, 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 and I think because before we got to this point, we had to recognize the opportunity of balancing the emotions, right, and realizing where the emotional state is destructive, meaning maybe it's just pessimistic, you know, no offense, no offense, I have really strong... Virgo, especially sidereally, I'm a whole bunch of Virgo. So I get the idea of being like, ah, what? Like, you know, it can, it can be easy to, to, well, look at the thing that's not working, which is a really good quality. And we need to be able to be honest enough about what is not practical <laughs> or logical, but not using it in the sense of, because you, you can be very self-deprecating. You can actually cut down your blessings by saying to yourself, well, I, again, it's not going to get done the way I want it, when I want it, how I want it. So you actually can interrupt your, again, your blessings like that. And please don't, there's no, there's really no need for that. You know, it's like we're, we're working, I heard we're working in a different timeline here. Okay. So maybe in that sense, it could very well be that some of you, Ten of Pentacles is about many, many people getting all together and working together on something that's physical. So a part of what you don't see coming is maybe a lot of help also. You know, and again, I see a lot of opportunity. This could be something really big with business, which also connects to where you live and family and things like that. Um, this card also says trade on it. So, and as this merchant lives in the circle, this circle in this deck, this is the crowd. So it's not the bullseye. It's not the ring outside of that it's the one outside of that this could kind of be anybody um and this is the biggest one so actually some of you could really be expanding in your career in your money it's it, the success of something this person is so comfortable look how comfortable they are everybody's so comfortable everybody's so happy you know um they've worked really really hard to to be here um, so I would also say, don't forget to put yourself out there. Weren't we talking about this? It was just like, okay, I have these paint, like, again, we're using the example of painter because it came up. It's like, okay, you create this. Um, but it's like, how can you take that and create something else with it or find some other means of that getting out to the world? You know, maybe for some of you, it would be where... Um, you know, again, this could be some big financial awesome things for some of you, especially if you are in a place of career, meaning you've been doing your job for many years. It's, it's something that's finally, it's like where I heard where the tides are finally turning because of all your hard work. It's like something finally becomes easier. It's, it's not stressful where it's like one big swing of the scale, another big swing, you know, these big ups and downs. This is, this is a steady that's what you don't see is coming is security and comfort. So I heard be aware and be open to that. Okay, be open to the balance. That's the opportunity. 
Virgo. Don't you give yourself a hard time. You hear me? Don't make it more difficult than you need to. Some of you just need somebody. Maybe some of you need a financial advisor because you're doing so well with your money. You could really be saving for something that actually has to do with deep, deep ten of pentacles in the future. Now, another thing that I that could be possible and what you don't see coming is some of you could actually... How am I seeing this? Since this card, the merchant also represents trade, right? The merchant create something, they bring it to somewhere else, they connect with somebody or other people in other places. Maybe for some of you this is about putting something, again like, I don't know if it's like putting something online or if it's kind of like, you know, because this is the crowd, it could be anybody, like say you're out, out at a place and somebody's just like, wow, like da da da, shoot, you end up shooting the shit, because you know, you're shy sometimes, so it's just like, you end up shooting the shit about what you do and someone finds out what somebody does or what their talents are or what their job is and they're just like wow like uh you know that's something i heard that's something i'm interested in and it could be a financial exchange but so this is also knowing your own value truly don't cut yourself short with this okay do not cut yourself short of of what it is now I also see that there could be something where like whatever your talent is could also be something that you trade for somebody else's help in in something that you don't have the talent for or it's just something that's easier like oh I need this you have that okay cool let's trade so that's also something that you don't see coming so be aware be open and aware to that which would also mean in some way or another you're gonna have to put yourself out there you know this is um, you know go to that event or like talk to that you know don't i heard don't just be a wallflower because if you're queen of cups high priestess just sitting in the house or something like that you may i mean if you need how do i see this virgo energy generally needs to go within and be alone to be able to balance right particularly that little gap of Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, they all need to be alone to be able to recalibrate. Libra being the, the middle and the balance of that. That's that's how we, we balance, right? We can't, what, what is it? Uh, all work and no play makes, makes uh, you know, makes people go crazy, right? So remember that too. This is not the shining, <laughs> okay? Uh, interesting. There, I feel like some of you, again, if you're doing extremely well in money, some way, somehow, or some of you have some amazing idea that really is something that could be huge. Something that could be really huge where, again, it reaches, I heard it reaches the masses. It's like, you may need some advice. Like, I don't know if this is financial advice or some kind of person that's just, like, good at social media or something that, like, somebody that does some of the bits you know because for instance i keep seeing it. it's like a creative person for instance the person that's physically doing the thing they're not it's it's hard to be your own manager and the artist and the you know and the cashier and the treasurer and the all the things it's like somebody may be trying to hold this all together on their own doing something too individual and it's you can do a lot there but again it's someone's stopping themselves from succeeding by thinking that they have to do everything on their own <laughs> cut it out Let's see what your action is to take Voigo. Oh, the musician. So Libra and Aries receive this. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And what's with that? The King of Wands. So some of you know a fire sign that is very good at music. Very good at music, this fire sign. Holy smokes, they're so talented. Oh my God, they're so, this person is so inspiring. They are so inspiring. It's like, it's like their vibration of them when you're around them is just like, oh my God, it's like a song. There could be something so romantic here too. And there's so much gratitude around it. It's like someone's like serenading someone with their energy or like, someone's so attracted to something.
Wow. Hold on. Okay, this is your... Let's take it... This is supposed to be kind of like advice and action to take. Where should we start? Action to take. King of Wands is all about taking action. Perfect. You already have the energy within it. You're already doing it, I'd assume. You're already doing it some way, somehow. Or at least you get the energy to do it. That's a good thing. Um, I see... The action is to, this is also such, I can't express like how much inspiration is behind it. It's like there's so much excited, excitable energy. Now I would say there could be some things that some of you want to do right now. You still can do certain things. There's no, again, stopping something, but you're meant to sort of step back from certain things so that you can focus on other things. Or again, how you can manage, how you can, how you can form what you're already doing in a different way. Does this, does this make sense? You follow me? So, because now until April, now, yes, now until like March, April time. So what is that? Six months, no big deal. Six months, phew, flies by, flies by like nothing, right? How fast did this year go? It's already October. It's already October. Ten months, done. So maybe you want to look at what you've also accomplished over the last six months. Where have you traveled? Who have you interacted with? What have you created? Um, you know, all the things. What has inspired you? What has made you feel confident and attractive and even like... Actually, for some of you, something also stimulated some kind of like passion in a person again it was just 11 11 on this portion awesome it's like a door like a door of inspiration opened or like maybe some of you like again because you know what you don't have here are swords which is actually good for you because when you get stuck in your head you know like that gets rigid then all the inspirations blocked anyway you know what i mean start worrying about shit it like just blocks all the all the goodness from coming in, you know? It's like a steel trap door on a honey badger. What? <laughs> no way. So, the action to take is to put some good vibrations, like some projected energy, meaning you take your goodness, you take your vibe, you take your frequency of creation because you're such a creative sign you take that you use the other side pisces of you and you imagine imagine what you want the future to be how do you see that now of course like some of this is going to tweak as you go along but i want you to put your good energy into the future i actually feel like music could be particularly helpful in maybe causing causing a person to feel more like fluid um, different kinds of music is going to give different kinds of energy too, you know, because King of Wands is kind of like, cha 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 like he's pretty fiery, you know, or like he's like a punk band or like a metal band. He's got like, it's got a good, King of Wands always has a good rhythm, you know, it's powerful. It's like a strong drum or whatever. This other energy of the musician is more like water. It's more like instrumental music, like this softer, like, you know, like a soft jazz or like a, a soft classical, you know, I'm not talking about heavy Wagner here. We're talking about something very, very soft. So I feel like the tempo of things, that's part of the advice, I guess, is that the tempo is, is shifts like that. Sometimes, again, there's a lot of fire and then sometimes it's really smooth. So both of these talk about Sagittarius for combining them also. In that sense, what we're talking about is trying something out, right? Again, we have two cards with sort of scales on them. And actually, we have two hands here that are just like, all right, let me see what's going on with this. What happens when I do this? What happens if I put this first and that second? What happens if I put this first and that second? You know, what, what does that create for step three? You know, maybe you only get as far as step one, two. And if that's the case, again, look at it in this way. Like, okay, again, if we do this now, 
and then do that later all right well that kind of creates this again we're being redundant but we have to say it again if, if we're if we're going to try this first this is going to happen first all right and then that happens after and either way putting good energy around it but I do feel like you want to look at, again, the options, especially through the end of the year. From now until December, that gives you a good three solid months. You know, there's that three. You know, put... I see, again, please go over what you have already achieved. You know, where you have been so diligent to work through things this year. You know, the knowledge that you've gained, the... For some of you, that which you have let go of, you know, this could be stress, it could be friends, it could be, you know, I don't know, like, control, maybe, um, letting go of bullshit, perhaps, you know, your own or other people's, whatever, like, letting go of, do we say stress? Um... Interesting... I would say if this is you and another person, this King of Wands with the musician card, if these are two separate people, like trying two separate things trying to work together, they do have different energies. They're not opposing, they work together, right? Fire's too hot, water's too cold. When you mix fire and water, then you get something that's comfortable if there's a right amount of each one. And so I guess this is also like leading and following you know again like you know if you want something to to boil because you need it to be that temperature then turn up the heat you know what i mean put more passion into it put more energy into it but this isn't about pushing i need to emphasize that it's just because it has a purpose behind it and then of course after that it like goes into this soft energy and you know, because you can't be 100%, 100% of the time. This King of Wands would burn out, right? And maybe for some of you, if you're in a relationship, maybe something romantic could be helpful too, especially if you've been a person that's just working a lot or there's a lot of responsibility and things like that. It's like, it might be nice to just, you know... I heard don't make excuses for for not having time to just be... Okay, because that may be a part of where the creativity comes through. You see what I'm saying? And I do see some really inspiring people here. Oh my God. And if this is your person, if this is your, your partner, th this is so amazing. And actually, if you are married or whatever, if you're in a committed relationship right now, that people are so in love. It's really beautiful, actually. Yeah, like, it's so sweet. Like, people are proud of one another. Whatever this partnering and it's whatever this connection, these connections are, they're, like, really proud of one another and inspired. And there's so much gratitude around it. And I do see a lot of support. Like, I, this this guy here, he's kind of, like, knew it. I knew it would happen. Like, I heard you're welcome. <laughs> All right, that's that. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for being a part of this place. Virgo, I hope you had a wonderful birthday. I hope you have a great October. Um, remember, your solar year or the light through Virgo just began. So go easy on that, right? Um, and actually, you, Virgo, until Aries time or until Pisces Aries time is a great like cycle to look through and i know for a lot of you this is winter time so it may be opposing energy where you're like wait um this is a this is a slow energy and it's like yeah maybe you're building something you know we, we need time to just be to again be creative and figure out what could be possible with what we already have and just enjoying now you know like this woman's sitting by the fire all cozy you know super comfortable wow alrighty that's that love you peace